My name is Mohammed Azim. Um, I did my undergrad at Queen's University, actually. And uh, then I did my CPA CA with Deloitte Canada. Uh, for my PhD, I was at the University of Toronto, Rotman School of Business, and I graduated from there with a PhD in accounting. I'll be teaching AFM 391, which is Intermediate Financial Accounting 2. And I'll be teaching that in the spring of 2023. I'm quite excited to be teaching this course, actually, because uh, I think students already will have a good understanding of the asset side, and this one delves into the liabilities and equity side of the balance sheet, as well as some of the income statement items. Uh, when I was working at Deloitte, um, I did uh, quite a few audits where you know I had to delve into the liabilities and equity side and the complexities in it. So it will be exciting for me to try and pass on that knowledge and how it actually translates into practice uh, to the students here. And uh, in fact, I'm also looking forward to learn from the students. I think that's one of the exciting parts of this profession, that sometimes they may see something that we don't. So I'm looking forward to interacting with them, getting to know them and their questions. It'll be good to be back in touch with people after two years in uh, COVID quarantine. I mostly do financial archival research. So to simplify it a little bit, um, we look at how the capital markets are affected by accounting uh, related matters. Specifically, I look at three major areas. Uh, the first area I look at is accounting rules. The second area I look at is contracting. And the third area I look at are environmental sustainability and governance issues. So uh, to put it into perspective, one of my research papers looks at how an accounting rule in the US uh, which is FAS 123R, it relates with um, stock options and how this accounting rule change can affect labor turnover. So it can have real impact on the world, right? It's not just something that's uh, changing how companies do something, but it's actually having area-wide impact on how uh, labor force is moving from you know, one company to another or job one job to another. So that's one of my papers. Um, with regards to contracting, I also have a paper that looks at how exchange-traded funds, um, and everyone's aware of exchange-traded funds now, I think. It's you know, a very, very popular form of investing, especially uh, for the younger generation. How exchange-traded funds are changing um, executive compensation mechanisms. So exchange-traded funds, because they have an effect on stock prices, that has a knockover impact on how executives are compensated in stock equity or other stock awards. Um, lastly, um, I have a current project ongoing with another faculty member at the University of Waterloo. And we look at whether government contractors, so when governments hand out contracts to companies, these tend to be very, very large contracts. So these are very lucrative for companies. And companies want to keep these contracts. So we try to look at if government contractors um, adhere to ESG or environmental sustainability and governance requirements by set by govern, uh, governments or they try to uh, evade these uh, requirements that governments put in by greenwashing or by outsourcing their suppliers to countries where you know the governments cannot really investigate what their ESG policies are so that's something uh, you know I think is quite exciting and promising and I'm looking forward to working more in that uh, in the future.